The truth is that I am not happy. If there is anybody who is a youth in Nigeria who is happy with the dishonesty being unleashed by the government in Nigeria against the people, then you are not a patriotic Nigerian. It is now established that the government of Nigeria as presently constituted is very sectional. Very, very sectional. And this is not good for a country where we are planning to develop peace and move forward. The group called Mieti Allah, their leadership, Mieti Allah leadership, issued a threat on the Nigerian government, giving Nigerian government 30 days to resign their decision of suspending Ruga, which came as a result of the outcry of all the Nigerians against that policy. They want the federal government to proceed with Ruga or they will make the country ungovernable. They issued this threat, and the government in Nigeria did nothing. Suddenly, our brother, Sowore, has organized audaciously a revolution to register the displeasure of the average Nigerian youth of the Nigerian government. We are not comfortable with the way the country is going. The high level of insecurity in Nigeria is disturbing. Nothing is working in Nigeria. People are dying in their numbers. Nobody is saying anything. The Nigerian politician is becoming richer by the day. It has been alleged that the lawmakers in Nigeria receive the highest pay in the world. In a poverty-stricken country like Nigeria, where nothing is working, where all the roads are dead traps, the legislators are receiving the highest pay in the world. And the youths are angry. And somebody has managed to organize the youth for us to go into a revolution. And the same government that could not do anything, when the members of Mieti Allah, issued a threat on the government. They couldn't do anything. But when somebody comes up with a revolution to register our displeasure on the same government, he has been arrested. Does that not show you that there is something going on? This government is very sectional, very selective in justice administration. And all the countries that went under, they started this way. When you will start to undermine some people because you believe they cannot do anything. You are not God. That you have the monopoly of the instruments of violence, you can go through the armed forces and the police, does not mean that people do not know what they can do. People are very much angry. And I am calling on Nigerian government to find something that they are going to do. Solve this problem. I keep on telling you. When you kill an animal that is crying in the bush, another will start to cry immediately. Killing that animal is not the solution. Find the reason they are crying and solve it. It could be that they are not comfortable where they are. And that is why they are crying. And you are killing them because they are crying. You have not solved the problem because... More and more we start crying because that state of that state of not having comfort has not been solved. Why are we not solving the problems we have in this country? Why are we making people to bleed in their hearts? It is not fair. Nigeria belongs to all of us. There is nobody who is more Nigerian than the other Nigerian. Let us salvage this country now that we still have the chance before everything is blown into smithereens.